you were with me in the previous video, you'll have this gorilla image open on screen, and thanks to the work we did with the magic extractor, we should see the gorilla sitting on the transparency grid, meaning that he is now ready to be moved into the lion image we were working with in the previous chapter. Now if we want to move layers in between different documents, we need to take advantage of either the move tool or the copy and paste commands. Firstly though, we need both images open in the full edit mode. So let's come up to the top and click the organize button to return to the organizer, but leave the gorilla image open in the editing environment. Now come down and find the lion image, and you can either use the original version we imported at the beginning of the course, or you can open the modified version we worked on in the last chapter, so you should find that in the project files. So I'll go ahead and click on the version entitled Lion King, and then hit Control or Command I to open it up in the full editing environment. Now as you can see, that appears to have loaded over the top of the gorilla, whereas what's actually happened is the file was opened up as a completely separate image, and we can confirm that by looking at the top of the image window to see two tabs sitting here waiting for us. Go ahead and click on the gorilla and that should come up to the front of the image stack and we should be able to see it on screen in front of us. If we click the lion image again, that should do the same. So we can flip in between images that are open and have tabs available by just clicking on the tabs at the top here. The other way of seeing what we've got in the editor is to come down to the project bin and double click it. If you can't see a project bin then you may need to come up here to the windows menu and select it from here. Anyway you'll see from what I've just opened that we get a bin full of the open images and to switch between them we just need to double click on the thumbnails like so. Okay, let's get to work. We need to move the gorilla into the Lion King image, and I'm going to show you two different ways of moving things about, as well as moving them in between open images. The first technique is one that you've probably already heard of, the copy and paste options. So first of all, make sure we have the gorilla image active and displayed on screen. Now before we can copy the image, we need to tell elements what we want to copy. And we can do that with a selection outline. If you wanted to copy just parts of an image, you'd need to use one of the selection tools that we've seen previously to make a precise selection of the object. But I want to copy the whole thing. So I'll come up to the select menu, and then I'll choose the all command, and we now have an active selection outline running around the entire thing. Now let's copy it by coming up to the edit menu and choosing the copy command, or by using the standard keyboard shortcut of Control or Command C. Now switch over to the gorilla image, and by the way, for me the project bin is just getting in the way, as we can access the images from the tabs at the top anyway. So I'll double click the project bin tab to close it, and then I'll use the tabs at the top to switch out of the Lion King image. Now I'll come up to the edit menu once again and choose the paste command, or use the standard keyboard shortcut of Control or Command V, and bingo! We've copied and pasted the gorilla into the lion photograph. We're going to need to perform a color adjustment on the gorilla by looking at it here, but we can sort that out later on. Now as I say, that was the first of two ways I wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and delete that layer, because as you can see, when we copy and paste like that, we add the pasted object onto its own separate layer in the layers panel. So go ahead and drag that down to the trash can icon to get rid. Now let's switch back to the gorilla image and let's deselect the image by pressing Control or Command D. Now let's take a look at option number two. I want you to come over to the toolbox and activate the move tool which is at the top left side of the toolbox itself. We've seen it briefly before, so you've probably already worked out what we're going to be doing with it, but to make sure that we're working with the same tool, I want you to come up to this little arrow at the right side, or the left side, sorry, of the options bar, and then I want you to right click it, and then choose Reset Tool. Now we're working on the exact same wavelength. Now the way we're going to move the gorilla is to drag it into its new environment, and let me explain how that's going to work before we actually do it. 
We can either drag the layer in the layers panel or we can drag the gorilla itself from the image and we'll drag it onto the tab of the image we want to add it to. The image will then change in the preview and we can then drag it down and drop it inside the confines of the image window. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Drag the gorilla onto the lion tab, wait for it to switch and then drag it down onto the image and release and wherever we drop will become the center point of the gorilla or the object, whatever objects you might be working with. If we wanted to drop it onto the center of the image, let's hit Control Z here on the PC or Command Z on the Mac to undo that. And if we want to drop it into the center, this is how we do it. Switch back to the gorilla image. Now drag again to the tab, wait for the switch, drag down, and now hold down the shift key and drop and thanks to the shift key being held down we drop in the exact center of the image well there we go two simple ways of moving one element of one image into another completely different file and we still get an additional layer with the move tool variation of it as you can see in the layers panel coming up next we're going to be using the transformation controls here inside of Elements to transform the gorilla layer and make it fit better into its new surroundings. To find out more, make sure you join me in the very next video.